Hey, what's up? It's Ben here. So I got a couple of people asking me about my Roth IRA and I haven't done a review in over a year, about a year or so. I'm not too sure. But granted, the reason why is because I can't do much in, in my Roth IRA. It's just basically a long term investment type of thing. So and every single year there's a contribution limit to it. So as of this year, it's six thousand uh, dollars if you are under the age of 50. And if you're 50 or over, it's seven thousand dollars. So that's your contribution. A contribution limit for 2022 and for 2021 it's the same thing if you haven't invest uh put money into your roth ra it's still the same thing and you have up to uh april 2022 to put money for 2021 uh, a contribution limit so go go ahead and you know put money if you haven't uh done so because it's a really powerful investment tool to use because everything you get at the end when you pull your money out it's going to be tax free well of course at the age of uh, 59 and a half on financial advice this is just for my personal experience and for what i'm doing <laughs> and going back to my roth ra or just in retirement accounts in general people who have, have retirement accounts and invest in the tech sector uh they their portfolio isn't doing so well in january mainly because you know a bunch of news are coming out interest rates are coming up inflation and then you have earnings coming up so this January isn't looking too good for people investing in techs and just in tech stock in general. And of course, I have a couple of ETFs uh, there just to balance my portfolio. But for the most part, I do have stable stocks and, you know, blue chip stocks and whatnot. But going back to my accounts, currently I have 19,000 around there. Uh, that's, you know, the market value of it. Uh, only at 3%. Not a lot of people talk about their uh, Roth IRAs or just their retirement account in general because you can't do much in it. And plus, you know, uh, if your portfolio isn't that great why talk about it because you lose your credibility just by talking about it and showing that you have a measly like two percent return a year so this is not good, good stuff but granted i'm i don't really care if you if you you know you know watch me for the sake of you know seeing my stock picks or just you know talking about stocks just hopefully you know you learn a thing or two you know in re in reality when you you know show someone your, your measly two percent for year gain in a stock uh portfolio you don't you tend to lose trust in them because they're like why why you know watch this guy when you could just easily go out there and you know randomly pick up stock and probably perform better than you know two percent a year but at the end of the day i just wanted to let you know that in reality you know stocks go up and down and it's not a bad thing just to show you know the performance of your portfolio so this is just my take and hope you guys you know like something like this and being realistic with you guys and granted you know my cash balance is only 300 dollars uh for this year of 2022 i'm going to be putting six thousand dollars into it so then i could average out my other stocks maybe you know maybe average out my arcs right over here my arc etf which is the tech ones and then also uh voog uh which is also tech but i'll explain later on that so if you go on here in this section right over here my uh profits and loss right you know the these are the blue chip ones you know like the the pfizer you know uh uh exxon's uh you have my reits in there walgreens <clears throat> there's a couple of them you know have really performed really well and i had them way back then uh and i showed you i revealed that to you way back then when i did uh my roth review but if you follow me you'll know but other than that it's not doing so well <laughs> uh in overall so dividends i do the reason why i invest in these uh, blue chips these stable stocks is because they pay dividend and i research my dividends and they pay, pay pretty well so on the top you know recently in january 18th got a couple you know uh, uh dividend payouts in for you know some reads and then some other ones as well so if i scroll down a little bit you know every single month i do get you know dividends coming in it's not much but it's it's okay i guess <laughs> it's it just helps grow my portfolio so then i use that dividend to reinvest it back into other you know dividend growing stocks so then uh so then you know the money just don't sit there if i have money just sitting there it's basically useless uh because the money is just gonna be eaten away by inflation so this is you know one of the method that i use to uh, grow my try to grow my uh portfolio and going back here on this position i have currently you know the tech ones are real, doing really bad VOOG is the Vanguard Growth uh, ETF. Basically, is for it's focused on tech stocks and the ones in the ARC. You know, these are not so good on these ETF. Uh, I wish I haven't done it, but at the end of the day, 
I just wanted to leverage out my portfolio because I had no tech stock. If I scroll down even more, they're all like stable big company uh, blue chip stocks and whatnot, REITs and stuff like that, which is tend to be pretty well. See, look at all, all of them are going pretty up. I, if I were to average it out, it's probably over 20% gain besides these three, uh, these three losers that I read over here, around 40%, uh, you know, loss right over it. It's like over a thousand dollars or something. I could easily, you know, wipe these off if I didn't make my investment way back then, you know, these could have been gone. But the reason why I invest in the ETF is because it's just diversifying, you know, I don't know too much, you know, which, which tech stocks are going to, you know, make it break it. So that's why I invest in all of them, but granted, you know, Arg is, uh, Kathy Wood is taking a huge beating because uh, her, her entire, uh, management portfolio are taking, are going south. So that's, that's my take on it. It's, it's just there to, you know, uh, diversify my entire portfolio. Granted, I haven't been holding my, my portfolio for five and 10 years. So this is not a really good indicator to tell whether this portfolio is good or not because the entire market is going down. So that's just my take on it. Hopefully you guys, you know, take this as a learning experience or just, you know, seeing uh, uh, from, another, from another guy's perspective of how they choose their stock. And, you know, it's not all rainbows and sunshine, meaning that the stocks don't just go up. They do come down and, you know, people don't like to talk about it when stocks come down. And make sure if you ha if you guys don't have a Roth IRA yet, or maybe considering opening a Roth IRA, just maybe you should consider doing it because it's uh, you get you know tax benefits from it uh, at the end of the year, or well, not the end of the year when you retire at the age of like maybe like 59 and a half when you pull your money out, it's all tax free. So it's it's a good thing. And if you haven't done so, you check it out. Weibo has it. If you open up account with Weibo, they still give you some free stocks uh, as bonus for opening that account. And hope you guys like like videos like these doing my reveals. If so, please give it a like. If not, that's okay. Just leave a comment down below if you have any questions about it. I'm glad to you know help you out on things if I can, and I'll reply back to uh, you as fast as I can. And I'll catch you guys later.